I'll see what I can do. You know, normally we don't like to help out mods that aren't included in our pack, but I, I will see what I can do about helping you out, man. Oh, you're on Xbox One. You know, man, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but I don't I don't have an Xbox One. This is actually the PC version with a modded map called Pleasant Valley. So unfortunately, I don't know that much about it, and don't know if I can, I really can't help you out because I don't have the game for that system. Usually if something's messed up on the Xbox, you're stuck with it. Yeah, sorry, man. I wish I could help you out. Uh, I, you know, I, I've heard good and bad Welcome about the Fantasy Island. about the about the console version, and uh, unfortunately, it's you know. But if you like it on the console version, I, I really like you to have it tried on a PC because it's definitely uh, it, it's it's about the same from my understanding as far as quality goes. But with the added mod features, it, it creates a whole new game and. Uh, with this map, it, it definitely brings a whole new tier to, to farming. It's, you, it adds a whole new level to it, and you'll be able to do a lot more. Bearish28, thanks for the follow. Very good job there, Jeff. Oh man, this uh, yeah, I got a lag spike and I killed all my trailers over here. <laughs> you think I'd be the one drinking some wine, but it's maybe some harder popcorn shot and stuff. But yeah, it's it's not working out so well for me right now. Uh, it's hard to be able to control those. Uh, the minute you got some lag there, your tractor reacts too slow. Yeah, I'm now in the middle of the flagel. So it's attached to my, my truck. These tippers here, uh, stale popcorn, uh, the tippers won't hook up for some tractors in-game. Are you in reference to the flagels or an overloader? Or uh, what are you in reference to? I apologize. I'm trying to get my game straightened out here.
Well, it was kind of funny. I went all the way up to the quarry here, and I was driving around a big cat dump truck, which is a lot of fun to drive around. Realized I need some coal down at my sawmill here, so went back, grabbed my fly goals, and I'm going to head back down with some coal. Hopefully I remember it this time. Yeah, the Bandit 715, 750, uh, I believe that uh, Stars and Stripes game was being referenced to was on the Xbox version, so I'm not sure. You know, unfortunately, I can't help him out because I think he's trying to do a train together and they're not working. So unfortunately, I'm, I'm not sure if they, I haven't tried them in game. Uh, I'd have to buy them and try them out to be honest with you. Ooh, the Bandit 750. I'm trying to think here. For some reason, I don't think it has a hitch on the back of them. I could be wrong, but for some reason, I don't think it does. I, mean, I don't want to say 100% without actually buying one and bringing it in game. Oh, good, yeah. Daddy probably help him out better than I can right now. I'm trying to get some coal here, but, you know, I, like I said, I'd have, have to buy it and bring it in to see if it works. Uh, you probably asked you the same question you just did in my chat there, and I answered. Oh, okay, the Bandit 750 question? Yeah, those, you cannot hook those together. I didn't you think it... You buy the flag oh, that's just before that, those you can hook together. That's what I thought without actually looking at it. Cool, thanks for your help, guys. Gotcha, KW. Awesome. Thanks for the help out. You and I, you and uh, Dede there helping the guy out. Now, if it. Now, you should have told him, too, if that guy was on the PC version, we would be able to put a little attacher drone on there, and he can put ten of those things together without sweating it. But that's one drawback of the Xbox or console version is no mods, no dice, unfortunately. Nope, none whatsoever. Yep, I'm sorry. What uh, Insa Bebe uh, said a couple minutes ago. I thought, I thought that was addressed as well. Yep, and the attacher is needed to get the second one. You got it, man. Do the Flygo trailers fit under the straw machine? Uh, you're talking about the the bale to manure, if I had to guess. Um, the Flygos nope. do not fit under. Right. Ex yep. Exactly. The Flygos do not fit under there. They're a little bit too tall. Even if you detach them and try to push them under manually, like somebody tried to do, uh, myself, <laughs> um, it will not work. Unfortunately, um, it, you know, you have to use uh, the one level below, and it'll work just fine. Or Brantner, something that's not quite as you know has the high walls as this one you, does you, i use the forage wagon i it has the tilt feature you can tilt it so the back is down lower and you can drive it under there the big in-game one and fill it with fifty thousand. now if we want to make the map maker work a little more we can put that on a concrete slab yeah. and raise it up and i'm teasing i'm teasing yeah, yeah he's not working more he's taking no. the day off. Oh, I hear you, man. I'm actually working on Andre's thing. That didn't sound very good. Oh, hey, man. I'm working on my thing. Yeah, that didn't sound good. I'm glad I... Yeah, everybody did hear that. Just remember, Andre, or Day Day, is the one that's drinking wine, not Dave. Dave hasn't had a drink in quite some time, just so everybody's aware out there. So that was not influenced by any yeah. beers. Yeah, maybe Dave <laughs> should have it. <laughs> Thanks for letting them know. Now I'm in trouble. <laughs> now, I, ha I have no excuses.
Yeah, gotcha, Big Chris. I understand, man. It's a it's a nice little feature to have. You know, we use it a lot in the beginning of the game, and honestly, it, it's sitting there now looking pretty. But it's a nice little thing to have in the beginning of the game. And usually, usually in the beginning of our game, we we don't have too many fly goals, and at least you start out with uh, something a little bit smaller, and you know, where you can buy something smaller to work with it. But yeah, I get you. Oh, stale popcorn with a secret tip. All right, we'll keep that one on the stream and not let Dave know. Popcorn gave out a little secret that he might be able to get him into fly goals, so that's cool. He did a little uh, some button pressing and it got it to work in the fly goal, so I'll have to, I'll have to try that out. So I stand corrected. <laughs> Made me stop and look at your stream again. Said the doctor. <laughs> Hey, any of you guys out there know how uh, the simulator way of life's making out? I know he's having some computer, he was doing a defrag at a hard drive the other night, and I wanna, hope he's uh, making out okay. I know he had a power surge there, so I hope he's, I hope he's back up and running soon. I think he was streaming, somebody said, but I think his... Judging by the speed of his defrag, it should be sometime around next Wednesday. <laughs> oh, wow. No, he was at 1% last night, and then about noon today, he was at 4%. Ouch. Oh, cool. He's streaming today? I'm glad to hear that, Big Chris. That's awesome. Awesome. Thanks for the update, Memoir. I appreciate you guys. You and Big Chris updating me. I, was, I know I was on last night and I checked out a little bit and I saw him doing defrag. I'm like, oh boy. So I'm glad he's up and running again. Oh, I'm sorry. He was streaming earlier today. My bad. 30%? Ouch. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I heard about the power surge, man. That's a that's a bummer. Those those things can really mess your system up. I'm sure is. Well, unfortunately, as he's finding out now, man, those are a killer. Ooh, power surge during a scheduled defrag. Oh, no. Man, I tell you, it's talk about some bad timing. That's, that's rough. Oh, I hope so, Memoir. That, that, I feel for the guy. That's that's a bummer. It's, it's, 
man, when there's no worse feeling, and you don't you don't realize how much you depend on the electronics until they go down. And you're you're standing there, and you're like, all right, what's the first step do I do to get myself back up and running? At least to the point where you can communicate to everybody else that you're down a little bit, you know. Yeah, battery backup with a nice surge protector is the way to go. We uh, we told the uh, the company that's hosting our server now, wink wink hint hint, that we're supposed that uh, that he got us a battery backup because. <laughs> <laughs> and if you guys didn't know, Day Day is uh, the one that's helping us out very generously and letting us use one of his uh, computers to host off of, and it runs much better than any dedicated uh, company that we tried to buy a server for, run a server from. So uh, what happened was one time he had a power surge and we couldn't play for a little bit. So, you know, guys are it's like mass hysteria, cats and dogs getting along and people going crazy. He couldn't play, get on a play. So fortunately, we got a, he was generous enough. He bought us a backup and we can now play away and not have to worry about those little hiccups. I really like the company you guys are dealing with, though. It's pretty cheap. Yeah, yeah, you know, we just, we just got to, you know, make sure that he's supplied with wine and beer and we're good to go. And there's a couple of days a week where he disappears and has to go do the work thing. And, you know, then it's quiet time, but it's all good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Boy, who would have thought dumping coal into the sawmill would be such a quite a task? Alright guys, just to be clear, I have not had a drink of liquor tonight and I cannot get the coal to dump here for some reason. Definitely operator error. According to your picture though, it seems pretty full. I have uh I have the dolly on the back here, the Flygo dolly with a Flygo trailer that's full of coal. For some reason, it just is not, it's not happy about unloading the coal there. Yeah, she just does not want to go. Yeah, Big Chris, I get you, man. Um, that, uh, about the computer thing, I, I usually like to build my own. That way, I know what's in it, and if something goes wrong with it, I'm I can you know repair. But totally get you. Yeah, that truck driver. That's the same guy that tried to fertilize my field. And he did a pretty bad job. So he might either need a raise or he might have to. Give him a day off, he's doing a pretty rough job here. Give him wine, usually it fixes everything. Oh uh, yeah. Hey, good call, Stale. Let me let me check that. You're probably right. I'm just gonna drive over here and check it out. Hey, look at that. Steel popcorn, you're okay, man. I don't care what Dave says about you. That that's a good call there. I'm just teasing, of course. Dave says nothing but great things about you. But yes, that's a very good call. Stale said uh, possibly the sawmill was full of power. So guess what? Yes, it was full of power. I try not to talk about him in public. 
All right, well, you're being, just, think, just so you're aware, you're on public broadcasting right now. <laughs> yep, that's why I'm keeping my mouth shut, because, you know, I'm working on Andre's thing. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> You'll be on it for a while. Wow. No comment. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't very nice. No, no, it wasn't insult there. I'm not saying that because you're not good there. You know, usually you don't say that to another person until they're done with your, your you know, getting off your thingy. Alright, so I gotta go find a place and dump some, dump, unload some coal here and then I'm thinking to call it a night for a little bit here. I'll go back and make some mods. I don't want to appear as though I'm having too much fun. Yeah, we don't want him to have too much fun. No, definitely not. I like to keep them working. I think what we need to invest in Pleasant Valley is some Oompa Loompas. That would get the job done. Oompa Loompa, Oompa Dee Doo. There, there, there. Uh, I'm not going to sing anymore for you. Oh, come on now, Mr. Singing Guy himself. All right, here's a question for everybody that's out there and still watching. Uh, if you ever watched uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, which one is better, the original or the remake with Johnny Depp? Right and wrong answer in case anybody's wondering. Honestly, I'm not sure I've ever seen the first one. You've never seen the original with Gene Widler? No, I don't think so. Wow, man. All right, we know you're no farming for you until you pop that in your DVD player, Blu-ray player. You, it's a must-see. I've never seen the Johnny Depp one. That That's a good thing. I probably heard at the time that it sucked or something. Ah, good answer, St. Louis. No doubt, man. Yeah, I got this. I didn't fire this truck driver yet. I can't back up the coal over here. Welcome. Oler, absolutely, man. Good answer. I'm liking the answers I'm seeing. That's why. See, that's why I like all you guys out there. You, you're giving the the good, the correct answer. Zona Tear Deer thirty fifty seven. Thanks for the follow, man. Come on, no whammies, big bucks. Fill that coal up. All right, Andre, your your sawmill has a lot of coal in it right now, so you're gonna go for a little bit longer. Yes, yeah, Scott. Unfortunately, thank you. No problem, man. Yes, yeah, Scott. Unfortunately, I do take le you know driving lessons from Dave, but eh, it's getting better. It's getting better. You know, eventually, hopefully, the the student will become the teacher and vice versa. You see the abuse I take now, guys. I wonder how I keep doing this. Oh, it's all in good fun. <laughs> <laughs> And in case you're wondering, this is what lanes. I give, it I give it out just about as good as I take it. Oh, you sometimes sometimes you take it better and you give it out, and we'll leave it at that. Yeah, <laughs> I can confirm. Dave is really good to take. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, guys, this is what happens when lanes is turned on. You go through a hemp field, kaching, big money damage.
But I am heading back to the homestead here, and I think I'm going to call it a night. And, uh, Big Chris, I will check the info and make sure I can connect and get on and look forward to talking to our, or we're look, looking forward to talking to your contact uh, tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Yes, me too as well. Let's just say if, if that can be done, it would be a breakthrough and where we would have to get a chain and, and tie it to Dave's ankle and not let him leave the computer for, mm, all right, I'll be nice, a couple months. <laughs> Every once in a while we'll throw, you know, well, I won't say a bone, we'll throw a, a biscuit or two in, in the bowl and maybe give him some water and open a shade once in a while to give him a little sunlight. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure to turn the temperature down in the room a little bit, because you know people work better when it's colder. It's you know we don't want you to fall asleep at the at the keyboard. Great, don't want that to happen. Awesome. We'll do, Big Chris. Thanks, man. I will check it out. Alright, guys. I am wrapping it up for tonight. Just did a little stream just to test things out. I made some adjustments, some some tweaks in Twitch and so forth and make sure everything is okay. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, Tuesday, Dave will be doing his map making class Tuesday night. And uh, shortly thereafter, I'll be doing a mod class, just showing not how to create, but basically how to modify to get rid of uh, the little arm on a woodcrasher and uh, make it hopefully some people's lives easier to get it out of the way so you're not hitting it when you're doing logs. And then uh, I'll work on some future classes. We'll get some basic things done with XML files and so forth and go from there. So thanks again for swinging by, and uh, we'll catch yeah, you guys. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully you'll see you Tuesday uh, in Dave's class.